Hey guys, Tarot here bringing you a one v one today. We are on Colodney Firma Winter. Playing for today's pony on the left, we have Von Ivan as the Aussie player in his loadout. Well, he's straight away locked in mobile defense, so no questions about what he's up to. On the right hand side, we have DVM as the Soviets, who has advanced warfare, guard rifle, combined arms, and guard motor coordination. Pretty uh, standard loadout there. These two players will be getting their practice in for GCS2, I imagine. Interesting capping order from Vaughn to start, I'm not sure how a practice he is with this capping order, but actually capped his sector right outside his base first. It can be hard, you know having to build your tech structure and then trying to win the race over to here but actually doesn't end up mattering because this machine gun comes along gets suppression forces away the harassing squad there even got a little bit greedy trying to leave the safety of that garrison backfires on him quite badly so Vaughn now going for the cutoff Devin perhaps uh, heard those windows breaking through the fog this is combat engineer in a position to try and defend this. Conscript, yeah, trying to maintain control of this building. Machine gun sets up still in the capture circle. Probably going to lose against these conscripts because it's got these two extra windows from this side firing as well. Maybe if it's just the three, the three windows. Oh no, these two windows actually shooting at this squad now. Oh, but the squad comes in for the flank. Ends up having to leave. For some reason, this squad not behind heavy cover here. Gonna end up losing. I suppose maybe he thought he could come over to this side and fight versus the uh, one window on that side of the building, but obviously. You even can just leave the building then and win the engagement. Over DVM hasn't managed to disconnect Vaughn's fuel. So things haven't been going disastrously for him. This is a uh, yeah, slightly different this map, as you can tell by Von Ivan just leaving his squad oh his machine gun over here. Not having this cover inside the munitions point actually makes for quite a large difference in terms of harassment of this munitions point. Similar on this side. All this negative cover. There's usually a few patches of uh, non-negative cover that you can use to capture that munitions. And you can kind of uh, see a bit easier from this right hand side into that sector. But it is a treacherous map for the right hand side, the winter variant. Von Ivan sneaking a machine gun down here. Getting the capture on the munitions. May walk this now into range of the uh, Fuel or not, just leave it set up. In comes the push for DVM. It's going to be a tough hold for Vaughn. He's got another squad of greens coming up now. He's getting bullied. Gonna lose control of that. Pioneers pop the flamethrower though, that's what he's waiting for. Oh, but they're kind of derping out there, <laughs> running around like idiots. And almost loses it too. She gun repositioned to a safer location. Oscar's want to get the capture here, so he leaves the full health squad there and the other squad back for the capture. Oh, Von Ivan, what's he doing with his machine gun? Oh, misplay there. Costly one at that. Not sure how that flamethrower squad ended up forcing this to reposition, but 
Von Ivan made some uh, Miss Micros down here in the south. Could have been more fruitful harassment. Probably could have got the capture on this fuel. Be it uh, controlled that a little bit differently. With these players going for well, quite a strong start though. With them got four squads. The flamethrower engineer into a machine gun. Quite a lot of infantry on the field right now. Here comes the flamethrower. I'll flush the squad out and cover it straight away. Oh, he's a bit late on the retreat note. Just before the second burst comes in, gets out. He didn't go for early mine here. Good position. Definitely got to hit something. It's done. Oh, and he retreats after it. The enemy has taken Must be looking to build his tech structure. Does have medics as well. Oh, he's not quite in the capture circle. Now he gets it, but a little bit late. Well, I've been just trying to hunker down. Maintain control. Can't push forwards this machine gun, otherwise he'll be in range of this one. So he's trying to hold on to his little slice of territory right now. Luckily for him, these conscripts don't have the PPSH yet, so they're not super lethal. But there's a lot of firepower pushing. One does have the medics. Use the early retreat there. Got to be able to heal that squad up. Doesn't lose too much manpower. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Similar with this one. It looks like he's really trying to conserve manpower with these slightly early retreats. Machine gun though, not in a position to defend here. Grenadier gets flanked, and this is pretty much a disaster for Vaughn. Largely because his machine gun wasn't in a position to try and prevent these three conscripts from the north. He was just locking down this avenue. It is out muscled here, two to one. Oh, nice mortar shell. Machine gun finally changes its arc. Just gets the squad in the nick of time as they pop the PPSH upgrade. This one coming around the side behind the log pile. But oh, one model sprints in front. But they do so much damage. Will they be able to knock out the machine gun? No. Not quite. Close call though. Here comes the T70, such a fast T70. Eight and a half minutes on the field. Just shows how strong DVM's map control has been. Not Ivan gets the Faust on it though, so that's going to slow it down. Well, I've initially calling in some Austrian reserves. Remember, you no longer have the chance to roll the LMG on these, I'm pretty sure. You have to get to Battle Phase 3 and upgrade the LMG. The PSH conscripts should be able to win this engagement, despite the building control. Squad AI kind of made them dance around a little bit. Now we've got some mortar shells coming in. It's going to be a close one. PPSH is perhaps going to win anyway, though. I've been playing a bit of hide and seek. Machine gun finally got back up to the front lines, though. Oh, but he packed it up at an unfortunate time. Resets it up. PPSH is oorahing around the side. Can they get around? And they do. 
Oh, that is unfortunate. I'm not sure what happened there. It was set up, then he packed it up and set it up in basically the exact same position. Unfortunate for Von Ivan there. Ooh. Rough grenade. Could have been a disaster. Didn't try to dodge it very effectively. Oh, man. That's so lucky. That grenade here. Such a lucky one. But I'm actually using these Ostrup and whatnot to try and capture some territory here in the south. Get some resources in from the bottom half of the map. TVM now in control of one of his territory here in the north. Nades. Watch with one squad. Oh, he ran back into it. Let's retreat after that. Probably too busy trying to micro up here. He's got the Puma, finally hit 5 CPs. The T series. Gonna have to get out of there. DVM did go for the guards, so he doesn't have enough manpower for quite some time to build an SU 76 or similar to try and counter the Puma. Sure, what Devian was up to with that PPC squad. I think he's got Molotovs, right? No, no Molotovs, so. He's slightly limiting the effectiveness of his PPC conscripts by not getting those mollies. Von Ivan now branching out, regathering control of his territory, and at the same time getting the cutoff. All thanks to this Puma zoning out the T-70. In the dirt here. Looks like this could be a dead green. Yeah, green goes down. So does the Maxim, but that's in a piece of friendly territory there. He's going to be able to regather that. Oh, but this could be a wipe, and it is! Must have been a mortar shell there. Goes for the treat path grenade. And we're going to try to get the follow up here. Doesn't get it. Conscripts Ura in as well, chasing away the Puma. Doesn't want to get engine damage on it. Just charges in, hits the dirt. Here comes the T70, but so we have to be careful with that Puma nearby. I'm just allowing it to get some free hits. Here comes a push through the middle, though. Pops a grenade, easily dodged. Pops away the mortar. It's standing on the cutoff, but it's not going to cut anything off here. So he doesn't have control of that central VP or the munitions. But he gets rid of that squad. Now trying to capture the middle VP, but yeah, it's not going to amount to much resource disruption for Von Ivan. He's going for a second machine gun. The machine gun's pretty good at dealing with multiple... Conscript squads, we saw Barson make use of three or four of them against Maxi with the five conscript pulled. Our opponents are seizing. Just can't get in the door there. 
this retreat taking too many losses. No weapon upgrades for Von Ivan yet. So he's spending all his munitions elsewhere. He's had to use a lot on Fausts. And yeah, hasn't had very good munitions control to start off with. Meanwhile, Deviant's got full PPSH upgrades. No DPs though. But I'm doing a pretty good job here of limiting his VP losses, considering how poorly things are going for him at this stage. He's been, you know, making the occasional harassing play in the south. Probably needs to revisit that with maybe one of his uh, Ostrupen squads. Try to get some territory down there. This H cons close in here. Should probably come around to this side with three windows instead of that side with four. It looks like even two of these windows from this side can fire as well. So, uh, pretty poor positioning of those PPSH conscripts if he wants to bully them out from there. You can really applying the pressure here. But no Molotovs once again. I mean, imagine if he had Molotov, he could have just cleared this out immediately. We'd be having a much easier time there. Oh! Oh, Ostrupin go down. Looks like the cover got destroyed and you see when he got a few good hits in there. But yeah, I feel like if you're getting four or more conscripts, it's pretty worthwhile to get Molotovs. You may want to get it after you get your T70 so you don't delay your tanks. It looks like Devium going full on into tanks. Goes tier 4 up. He's got enough fuel for one, but the manpower at the moment has been bleeding quite a lot with these aggressive pushes. Yeah, this kind of shows problem with mobile defense. Obviously the PPSH conscripts should probably not be this strong, but at the same token you shouldn't be calling in two tanks without getting any tech done. Even if you you know even if you just had to upgrade the battle phase. It would be a start towards making this commander better. Well not better, worse, but better for the game. Guards trying to make their way to the building, but get suppressed before they get there. And these double machine guns now causing some headaches for Deviant. Can't get around them as easily. Oh, T-70 up here. Jeopardy of going down to the Puma. Puma looks like it's going to go for the chase. Missing. Needs one more hit. Oh! Unlucky for Von Ivan there. Here comes T-34. Boom in jeopardy. Takes one shot. He's got to get out of there. He's got the smoke, but I think he used it a little bit too early. Oh, and down it goes to the T-34. Hits the Talamai shortly thereafter, but... Damage has been done. Von Ivan getting aggressive with his Panzer IV command tank can do decent damage to T-34's rear armor. But he's got to get on that rear armor. That is tricky. But Okay, that was actually really lucky that that T-34 bounced the first shot. And this didn't get engine damage from that AT grenade has finally set squad down here. This is really nice from Vaughn. This is one thing you have to remember, you know, try go to other areas of the map that 
opponent's most likely not going to be strong everywhere. Oh, nice. Boomer gets the kill there. Another cool one tank doing the job. Oh, and the wipe on the retreating Grenadier. Do you see me surviving those last couple hits over here? Coming back to Haunt for Ivan. Instant retreat there, good choice. I think he's going to be in. Uh, at risk of getting wiped here. I could be wrong. Oh, gets away there. Meanwhile, Von Ivan making a push in the north. This P4 command take very strong against infantry. Uh oh. Late retreat. Oh, and he snipes some long range. Even with those PPSHs, still gets the damage done right at the edge. That's unlucky for Vaughn. Slightly late on the retreat, though. Be so careful against those PPSH conscripts. They do so much damage. Just he wants to vet it up. like things starting to stabilize now for Vaughn. EVM's got a pretty mighty army though. Got a lot of squads up here. Got himself a tank gun now as well. Can try to zone out that Puma. Are you making use of the recon mode? Yeah, I think he needs VET 3 for the improved sight. But still probably quite handy. He's been pouring through the middle here. Where's his anti-tank gun? A little bit lagging behind. So he's having its line of sight blocked here as well. Now opens up, but it up a little bit earlier, probably could have got two or three hits in there. So just the one that missed. Give him trying to keep that VP pressure going. But this is an important juncture for him not to play too aggressively here until he gets his next tank. Because otherwise he's just going to be bleeding manpower, not achieving too much. And by bleeding the manpower, further delaying his tank production. We are losing supplies to the enemy. We need to There's this barrage here. Ivan returning fire with their mortar. Vet 3 now, 15 kills. Even against a highly mobile army like this, remember this is like a fresh maxim. The mortar still so effective. But this was a I think this is a good choice for DVM. Getting the machine gun really helps lock down this both the most uh, southern point. Gotta stop those easy von Ivan pushes into the south really keep that VP pressure on. So 
And yeah, you can see just the lone machine gun shutting down this push. This just wants to come down here and help. Probably wouldn't bother sending this down here. I'd probably try to send a squad of guards. Leave the Zis in the middle. It's always I always feel quite risky when I try and do this kind of maneuver. Try to send my team weapons down this flank. So leaves them out of position if push happened through the middle, but it's not going to happen. And here comes the KV-1. This is actually going to be very hard for Von Iver to deal with. He has got his tech up and he's very close to being able to afford the Stug, but in the meantime, this KV-1 can do a lot of damage. Von Iver doesn't have anything that can reliably penetrate it. Is this zoning out the Puma? We've been making a decent push here. We're getting a little bit closer with this KV-1 though. And then sitting back. Our are a sector. Gets in there a little bit closer now. Better late than never. Still missing though. This barrage clears out the building. He's had enough of that. But that mortar is denying the capture in the center. Oh, what's he doing with his Maxim? Should probably be re-angling to stop this squad that's forcing away his... I mean, he's, no, he's got the T-70 on the case. Here comes the Stuk. But the KV-1's been doing some good damage through the middle. Uncontested. But the Stuk is going to start contesting it. Tank grenade onto the P4 command tank. He's brought his this up. He wanted to get the kill there, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. This mortar has been picking away from up here. Doesn't be getting many model drops, but it's been doing a lot of health damage. Just sits up. Gets one hit in. Everyone also has taken one hit. has control of the central VP but VP progress has been a lot more slow this last five or so minutes still going to work on the KV-1 oh and now he's getting blocked by the Zis was in some massive parving issues. Oh man, this is a disaster. Strip coming forwards and he resets up the Zis at just the wrong time. Oh my god, this is a disaster for DVM. He's done everything wrong here. Oh my god, and the anti tank gun goes down to the mortar shell at the exact wrong time. KV1's gonna go down here. DVM just moved the Zis over to here, left it set up. Everything would have been fine, but he ends up losing his KV-1 and getting the Zis decrew. That is a disaster for him. It's going to relieve a lot of pressure on Von Ivan. That pathing was so nasty there. KV-1 just like spinning around on the circle. This, this little avenue is a nightmare. Von Ivan though losing his machine gun. Also bad news. Not sure when exactly this was queued in production, but I'm gonna be seeing the T-34. Could 
bit more nimble than the KV-1, but at least he doesn't have as much health or armor. So we might be able to help contest the north a bit more, but it's going to be uh, not as useful in these tank engagements with that trigger around. And the Puma as well. It's going to come down to his anti-tank gun positioning, which so far seems to be a little bit of a weakness for DVM. A little bit slow to bring it up along with his pushes. Then we just saw it there. Complete disaster with the pathing. Tanks up here, pushing away DVM's troops. And once again, Von Ivan's neutralized the center. And uh, is there a second mortar now for Von? I didn't even notice that, but it's already V1. T34 up here, pushing away these tanks. Just got a guards deep in enemy territory, forcing away all these support weapons. I put pressure on the Puma now and allow the cap in the center for Von Ivan. Bring up his anti tank gun this time. We are the machine guns. He needs a machine gun to come up along with this. He's got all these squads back here. Bring them up. Bring them up. Oh man. Three, four. Engaging with the Stug. Stug with its great rate of fire there. Getting two hits in. T34 is going to get behind the shot blockers there though. Oh my god, he's had these three squads just standing here for ages. What is he doing with them? I don't understand. Is he trying to play this on hard mode? What is he doing? Stug coming in here. Maybe looking for the T-34. I'm going to back away through that corridor. Or maybe not. Looks like he can't crush the wreck of this KV-1. T-34 coming in. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, connects with the building. Still got one PPSA squad down here doing nothing. Very curious. There's another anti-tank grenade. I think he needs two more to kill it, though. Sent you rounds on the machine gun, forcing DVM squads back. So this is gonna get the kill here now. That was a long time coming. Finally, Von Ivan comes forward, tried to destroy the wreck, but it's too little. But Puma now going after T34, but bouncing. The T34 is very lucky. Over now, I feel like DVM having trouble pushing into these support weapons. Perhaps needs the Kachusha or perhaps another enough munitions for an IL-2 pass. So quite strapped for repairs. Only got one combat engineer. The third machine gun here. I don't feel like it's adding to his. Arsenal that much. He hasn't been making very good use of it. Yes, comrade. Squad's charging in here. Get round. What's the machine gun out of the way? But his flak pans are dishing out the damage. Not getting many kills, but getting a lot of health damage to these conscripts. Softening them up for other squads. And Ivan down to just 23 VP. He's gonna capture the north. Oh, another kill. No squads died there, though. Curious that Devian went for another Zis. And Von Ivan has double mortars. This is a bad decision. This is going to be just such juicy targets for those mortars. This 35 would have been a much safer choice. 
It's not like he's strapped for fuel. capture all oh, but it gets the crews out in a dangerous position could be quite easily destroyed by the Stug. This one not on prioritized vehicles it looks like. Trying to prevent the cap here. Calling in the IL-2 now but this takes engine damage. Going for it all in. Von Ivy's got a bunker up here. Not quite upgraded with the machine gun. 12 VPs left. Two neutralized though. Drain's gonna be slow. 10 VPs left. So he's gonna capture the middle. T34 comes back in, perhaps with hopes of secure mode, but not in time. And uh, looks like their flak pans are dispensed. Quite swiftly of those IL-2 planes. So, IL-2 really didn't help DVM's pressure much. It's got the control up here now as well. It's got the bunker. Gonna make it view basically impossible. DVM the cap in the north. Can you imagine if this was it SU-85 instead just be able to pop the focus sight mode force away all these tanks from the middle I think that was a huge mistake from DVM going for a second this there in the face of the double mortars it's going for the Katusha now is this to get stolen so it's going to be up against 14 weapons Katusha not a bad idea settling in for the long haul But it feels like Von Ivan amassing a critical mass of armor here. He's got four vehicles currently. And uh, if he decides to get aggressive, as Von Ivan often does, they could quite easily overwhelm Devim's lone Zis and T-34. This is a lot of vehicle firepower here. Oh, slightly poor positioning there. Come through this narrow corridor. Machine gun trying to reposition to counter that. Oh man. She's rocket opens up. Some juicy hits and Von Ivan going for another bunker trying to cover the center. Would be a wise idea. Machine gun does manage to reposition. Oh, and the mortar goes down as well. That was the uh newer one though, doesn't lose the highly vetted one with 26 kills now. 23 for the P4 command tank as well, that's been super good this game. TVM's been pretty good about controlling his units here in the south, preventing any access to the southern VP. Ever since he built that second maxim, he's been really good about that. Now he's facing the wall. A lot of units here in the center and not so much in the north, but since he's relying so heavily on the Zis Fainty tank, it makes his army less mobile, less able to maneuver from the center to the north. And Von Ivan has got another flat panzer. This is surprising. I thought a P4 might be in order. But this is Quite a lot cheaper. Just for that little bit more anti tank. P4 would have been a little bit safer. Now we're putting early pressure on the Zis, forcing it away. The mortar's bombing in. It's a good damage. Here 
comes the Katusha. Um, for the bunker, it looks like, and the mortars. Some good damage to that bunker. She's out one and mortar again. And the second one as well. And I didn't even try to dodge it. He's got no one to blame by himself. Ten kills now over two barrages. That's a pretty good start for that Katusha. But this is a wall of armor. Von Ivan repairing up his bunker. And returning fire with this barrage of his own. Pokes his head forwards and instantly regrets it. Thinking he is this shot. A stolen Zis turning out to be a real disaster for DVM. Causing so many headaches through the middle. And I've just got a wall of tanks here. And a very awkward angle for the anti tank gun. And here comes. Oh, the push of all pushes from Von Ivan, just everything charging through the center. It's go time. One of them gets engine damage. Tusha trying to get away. Looks like it's going to. T-34 in jeopardy. Is this in a pretty good position, but that T-34 is taking heavy damage. T-34 is going to get away. Is this now getting focused down by the infantry? And Von Ivan's tanks doing heavy damage to all this infantry. Need to get out of here. There goes the Zis. Oh my god, he threw a grenade at this one instead of this one. Oh, excuse me. Mutually assured destruction on the main guns there. Stug wants to get in there for the kill on the T-34. Can he do it? I just come forward for the anti-tank grenade. The Strug now heavily slowed. Gonna be so hard to kill that T-34. And there's another one in production. This could be about to turn horribly wrong for Von Ivan. He's got these super low flak panzers. They're not gonna be much help. And this flak... This T-34 coming in to do a flank perhaps on the Strug. This is one more kill. Also been some combat back here. G70 doing some work. So it's being chased down by the P4 command tank. And he's using it on secure mode, trying to get the cap up here. Not a bad idea. But T70 doesn't have enough health. It's the Flak Panzer. T-70 in jeopardy of going down here. He's fast though. Oh! Before Commander gets the kill there, that was by no means guaranteed that range on the move. Now T-34 heading up here. Oh! And he runs over a Teller! No secure mode for you, buddy. Oh, man. And now, look at this army. Huge army for Von Ivan. 65 to Devium's 39. Lost that Katusha as well. Where did that go down? We are losing a sector. Maybe it died around here somewhere. So, Devium, with that heroic push from Von Ivan, set back a long way. He's still got 360 VPs left, so... He, you know, plays it conservatively for the next five minutes, rebuilds his army, and then has another go at it. Only needs to drain nine VPs. Sorry, I just had to get my nose there. He's trying to capture here with the secure mode. I mean, with the uh, hit the dirt. 
but he's lost control of the southern VP, so it's really for nothing that he's doing this. Devium, may got that T-70 up there a little bit earlier. Probably could have snuck the victory right there. It was a good thought, but slightly too late. Anyway, this, this is T-34 somehow alive. Vet 2 as well. Gonna be pretty scary. Passing away these squads from the south very efficiently. So I'm going to launch a Faust in there. He might as well spend his munitions. It's not like he's got any off maps that he's safe for on this commander. So, it's one of those commanders where you might as well just pop a Faust. Devium activating the secure mode. Probably should jump this straight onto the VP though because. Doesn't need the resources really. Go for another T34. He seems very reluctant to make an Easter 85. He's going to be facing two stolen Zis though, so using his tanks is going to be very hazardous. Kind of, if he kept that Katusha alive, this would be a completely different match, but because he lost that Katusha, it's looking quite grim for him. If you're in a good position to avoid that Stug. Shots blocked there by the tree. Other one looking away at the command tank. The enemy has cut off a sector. So we've only got the one comm engineer for repairs. So he's been pretty good about using them. Well, I haven't did call them those Austrian and reserves before. Just more capping power. Got to be good. And you're so low on VPs. And just let his vehicles do the heavy lifting for him. Conscript Urang in here, but Ryan has repositioned his anti tank guns to the north. T34 is going in for the flank, but he's in for a, a rude surprise. Tank guns haven't repositioned yet. Stug being micro pretty well from Von Ivan though. Oh, but T34 is going to get around the side. T-Guns now repositioning, but they're taking damage on the PPSH conscripts. Oh, but he runs over that Teller! Oh my gosh, another Teller in the almost exact same position. Oh! And the Flag Panzer comes in, clears out the other T-34. Oh, that is a disaster for Devium. If only he'd waited a little bit longer. Well, this third T-34 might have been able to overwhelm Von Ivan there. It was a very risky position. And just one more T-34 worth of power here. Probably could have overwhelmed this entire army. But instead, it's Von Ivan who comes out ahead. It's certainly a game of inches. Isle 2's now. There's a flak pens on the field, but if it's firing at infantry, can't be firing at the planes. And Stug chases down the T-34, gets the kill. Doesn't actually have the munitions for our anti-tank grenade here, which would have resulted in the death of that Stug, I'm pretty sure. Because he used the IL 2s. 
Oh, this is doing some heavy damage here. Oh my god, one more. Just need one more. Here comes the T-34 though. Gets the kill on one. He's not going to chase it all the way for the struggle, is he? Looks like he's going to reconsider. He's going to go for the kill. Do have a in a pretty decent position to stop this. But I would be good about repositioning these Zisses in the late game. Oh, he didn't manage to get around. Oh, and he bounces. He bounces and he goes down. Oh, DevM getting so unlucky here. Bouncing that shot. Oh, man, he was on prioritized vehicles, which was probably the right thing to do. But maybe if he wasn't, he would have been able to clear that Zis. So wouldn't have been able to get one more hit in there. If he didn't bounce the shot on the Stug, maybe his T-34 could have then outmaneuvered low held this and killed it and got away safe man so many close calls in this game what do you need? Enemy are look at this machine gun positioning this is an inventive one almost would have worked if they went like six squads down here The PPSHs though. The and then all oh, these horse trooping. Looks like he's cleared out the bunker with the Zis up here. So he's going for the capture in the north. Doesn't have control of the south though. But clearing out that bunker is a important point if he's going to try to snake the VPs. But now he's going to be in a lot of trouble because unlike before, now he's going to really, well Devim is really going to struggle to hold on to even one VP so 184 VPs are going to drain extremely quickly. Upgrading the Stug with the machine gun. Very cheap, remember, since the last patch. So if you've got the munition spear, no reason not to. Starting to open up now. Get a few models killed. Here comes the second one for, the, for a bit of support. He's going to prioritize vehicles though. He's just in a pretty good position here, but he's going to clear out this machine gun. See, nothing the Stug can't do. Let's just Uroing in. Just missing that shot. He goes for the crush and he gets too He gets the whole squad! Oh my god, Von Ivan with the crazy crush maneuvering there. Here comes a T-34 though to throw a spanner into the works. Pop smoke. Oh, he lost two PPSH conscript squads there though. T-34 trying to do a sneaky maneuver here. Get around the side of the Stug before he gets engine damage. T-34 misses the first hit. I've been making liberal use of smoke here. Oh, good, good use of smoke. Second stroke comes in. This is there and gets the kill. But T34 getting outmaneuvered by one Ivan. Oh my god, and the crazy! Long range shot through the hedge. Gets the kill on that T-34 and that might spell the end with three VPs remaining. Whatever gets the kill on that Zis. DVM's got, I suppose he thinks one or maybe two last throws of the dice. But just about enough resources for two T-34s. 
Three VPs remaining. He's got control of the north with the machine gun up here, which for now he's got to struggle to deal with at the moment because he's only got Puma in a stug. Which is not very strong against infantry. Oh, don't throw away Ostrupen. Just making its way back onto the front lines. We had two on that bad boy. So Devian did take a Faust on this T-34, so one more is going to receive engine damage. Vono doesn't quite have the munitions right now, but doesn't have any way of repairing these right now, so could be relevant in this game. Here comes the Puma. Gonna get a few free hits and remember the Puma does outrange T-34. So if you have something providing sight like that greed here, you can get some cheeky hits in. Here's the second T-34. So this is probably it for DVM. Just got to get those last three VPs with this army. Oh, well, that's a good start. Got that MG squad. No MG squad. Squad's coming up on the flank of this heavy machine gun, though. Oh, the T-34. Oh, but he does get the Faust on it. Oh, nice crush. Whoa, what a good crush from DVM. In defense of this bunker here. Vet 2 now with that tremendous rate of fire. T34 gets the kill. The squad is pinned, can't get the cap. Bono has got a machine gun moving down here to try and defend as well. Stroke chasing down the T34 and he gets the kill long range. Other T34 has come from the north going after the Stroke now. But can he outmaneuver it? Oh no, the engine damage. And that's it. See the strength of the Stug. Slaying all of these T-34s. I've just been using them very expertly though. When he somehow outmaneuvered that T-34 here just by using smoke, that was really some next level vehicle control for Von Ivan. It was incredible stuff. And when he went for the crushes with them, and oh man, there's been some incredible play from both players as well. DVM getting that crush with his T34 just before. This has certainly been a uh, entertaining game. Could have gone either way. DVM trying to hide his machine gun. Can't get chased away by this flak panzer. He's done a pretty good job of it too. Even getting the Zis, but very vulnerable to a flank by the flak panzer. Doesn't have many choices though because it doesn't have enough fuel for another T-34. Stole the Maxim. Topping Devium's conscripts here. Panzer finally finds the machine gun. So it looks like he's going to lose control of that due to this grenadier. Can he get control of this one? He's rebuilt another bunker covering the VP. This is hidden down there though. A2 VP's left. He's got to make something happen fast. Well, not even go for another flak panzer. I think it's a pretty good choice. T-34 
I should clear this out in three shots. Here it goes. So just as he loses control of the north, he about to regather control of the south, but how is he going to get another VP under his control? He's going for another Zis, but I think that's it. VPs left. Victory is slipping from our grasp. We have only 50 points remaining. Replacements have arrived. Sending his units to the north. About to lose control of the south. It's got another bunker on it. Those bunkers are, you know, a huge thorn on the side for DVM. There's late game. Capping aspirations. Work from Von Ivan making those bunkers. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. It's got the anti tank gun there. The scripts providing sight. We're gonna force away the mortar team. Panzer is rotating all the way from the south to try and break up this formation. Doesn't have control of the south though. Panzer going to work. And a assault from multiple sides from Von Ivan here. Unstoppable by DVM with his remaining units. is in here doing their work. And that's the game. Ron Ivan takes it. What an incredible match this was. Oh man, what a crazy match. I think I think I've said it all. This was such a good good game and could have gone either way with just a few minor changes from either player. Well, I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.